Hello, I've been looking at the slides, your introduction slides, and we have a range of experiences in learning and training and development or talent development. Several said they have had hands-on training, two in nursing and one in refining who is currently living in the Arctic belt of North Dakota. Now I began my career in training in shell oil at a refinery in Delaware. And like our friend in North Dakota, I didn't know anything about training in a refinery, but I learned very quickly. Basically, it's hands-on with training manuals, which, was, which were men mentioned by one of our classmates, and job aids, little short lists to help people remember. Hands-on training in manufacturing is mandated by state, local, state, and federal government. And you're really under the gun with OSHA on uh, safety and the environment. But more on that later. Several mentioned online training, which of course we're doing right now. But one individual mentioned webinars and they are very effective. Uh, uh, I attended a uh, 10 hour webinar series uh, this summer, sponsored by an educational organization where I got trained in, among other things, voice thread, which you will be experiencing. Video, of course. Uh, my uh, case on video is that you ask the audience to look for something specific to react to, and that the video be short. You know, our attention spans are not all that long. PowerPoint. Every, many people mentioned PowerPoint, and one of our classmates said she admitted she dozed off. The problem with PowerPoint is that it becomes a lecture. It can become, can become a lecture in which the presenter reads the slides to you. Arg. That's a no-no. It should be an instrument to launch discussions. And several people mentioned small group conversations and breakout groups. Those are indeed potentially very powerful learning uh, approaches. Uh, when I used breakout groups, I would give everyone an easel with paper on it, and someone was the note taker, and then someone would report out in an organized fashion, and then there was discussion uh, with the whole group after each report out. Also, I've seen it where posters are set up and people do a gallery walk in which they have, say, five minutes at one poster, a bell rings, they go to another poster, bell rings, they go to another poster. It's the choice. They're choosing, but they're interested in learning more about. And that's a powerful thing about visuals set up as a gallery walk. Several mentioned job shadowing. Now job shadowing, in my opinion, has to be structured, not just like at um, um, the coffee shop in which the kid's standing watching the other person make the coffee. So we have a broad range of experience bringing to the table, and I'm really looking forward to listening to your experiences and your stories.